investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi folks, Monday the 31st of July, we're going to take it easy here, we've got a lot to look at, we're looking at the month of August, so we're going to start off right now. In the monthly charts, look at this, a very strong leg, but yeah, the day is young, anything can happen, but it's still a really good candle at 34, uh, 35,494 right now, up 35. I'll talk about this little pattern here on the left in a moment. Talk about the one in the middle, the weekly chart. But this monthly chart so far, let's just do this for now. The monthly chart has a very strong leg B. I have to call it a gray B. I'll be able to change it to a blue B, meaning it's in a buy mode. If, okay, there it is. If the MACD, which is uh, finally positive has taken all this time since it broke down back in January of 2022, the MACD is about to cross, and there I have to wait for the end of the day, because anything can happen. It's only mildly up 24. Uh, this is the MACD, that is. The nine-period moving average is has been positive for quite a while. It remains positive. Not great, but it's positive, and it's walking. The nine-period moving average is using the price. The price is using the nine, and the nine is using the 14, and they're all moving in sync to the upside. I'm going to go to the S&P monthly chart. Mm -mm. Can you believe that at 45, 85, 80, 86 right now, up uh, just over three points, that the all-time high of 48.18, do you realize 48.18, we could do that in a blink of an eye, but this is where it starts to get tougher and tougher. Why? If you look at the weekly chart, everything is fantastic. The price is way above the 9 period, the green 9 period moving average. The 9 is way above the 14. The 14 is way above the 43.25.28 high back in, I think it was somewhere around uh, September of uh, last year, where before you started that big sharp pullback to 34.91. So that's 43.25. That's absolutely key support that must hold in the next two months. The MACD is still expanding. Look at the histogram there, still very good. The, the stochastic is flat at 93%. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. He has the clue to me to say, on a shorter term basis, we're getting ready for some kind of a respite, a breather. That's all I'm calling it now because there are so many technicals that we'd have to break down for it to be more than that. And we'd have to get that dark news cloud cover. I don't want to get into that right now. But there's no bad news out there that's just sitting saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, if whatever it is. It's not. There are a number of things that could come into focus, but they're not in focus. It's kind of blurry right now. So the, the weekly chart of the S&P, the on-balance volume is the clue that we are becoming at least shorter term, weekly chart, shorter term means 10 days to 14 days, somewhat overbought. The, the daily chart had that big spike to a leg F, became a peak F on Friday when there was a lower high bar. Now we've got a little tiny candle attempting to go higher, but look, the price is above the nine. The nine is above the 14. Uh, the 14 is above the 50. The 50 is above the 200 period moving average. Oops, there's the 50. The uh, 200 period moving average is way down at 41, so let's not even talk about that. To get that green line to go negative, you'd have to see 44, 78, 44, 70s at least. And that, that'll say, oh, oh, oh finally. You, so there's a lot that has to happen. So to be anticipating some kind of a pullback, which I am, is based on other factors. One of the factors is if I go through, as I did over the weekend, so many, I mean, look at this, Caterpillar, uh, Caterpillar had a peak D. Uh, it's trying to double top here. Uh, technicals are still good. Leg C in the weekly, it'll be a, a leg D if it goes. So a lot of these things that have been fantastic, all-time highs, are getting, like semiconductors, are getting really close to some to some area that says this is where you should get some kind of a pullback. 
but we haven't got it yet. Leg E continued in the S&P today, 160.58, up 8 cents. Uh, a slightly higher highs over the last three sessions, just slightly higher. Look at the struggle here at peak D, uh, leg D that is. So I'm just looking at this, I'm saying, I don't want to get carried away, but I am looking at each one of these things. I mean, look, C, what was it called again? Oh, um, JCI, I think it was J, Jake. Yeah, that's right. JCI Johnson Controls, a fantastic company. I watched it for years and years and years. They are always just, when you least expect it, it's up there at highs, the recovery highs or some kind of a high. And you say, oh, how did I miss it? Well, I missed it again. So Johnson Controls, uh, yes, it had a high back in the 80 area back in 20, uh, November, I think, 81. Oh, yeah, November, December. Then I pulled back real sharply to this, uh, uh, let's see, what's that, 40, 46 area. And now it's at 69.40. But look, it's starting to roll over a little bit in the daily. Weekly still looks very strong. If you can go to J, which is Jacobs Engineering or Jacobs Solutions, daily chart, peak E, only a leg C. There's still lots of room for some of these stocks to move in 2023. But shorter term, DD, DuPont, fantastic move, peak D, daily. I've got it as an E slash B in the weekly chart and a nice recovery to high going to uh, the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone that it's been at so many times, um, A, B, C, another C, and it's just kind of struggling a little bit here, but all the technicals are good. But I think on a very short-term basis, I am looking at, and this is going to be really important, these nine period moving average over the 14 period moving average has been spectacular. Just continued to move up. I call it the technical indicator of last resort because it seems to be the last one to get turned down. So I'm just saying, I'm looking at all of this and saying, wait a minute. Fabulous, fabulous move. Not denying it. Love it. We still long from core positions um, in the Dow. And I there's nothing to complain about. But on a purely technical basis, I'm looking at this and saying, I think we're getting... We're going to have kind of spikes. This is that uh, Bart Simpson hairstyle, big spikes to the upside and keeps coming down. Uh, Jacobs is using PLTR. Yep, there's another stock, PLTR, Pelletier. It's done very, very well. Pelletier Technologies, Inc. develops data fusion platforms. Just made its leg D today. Fabulous move up. Uh, it's up 1.87 at 19.67. I have to tell you that's, oh, there are some areas, I'm looking at one right now, where a stock that we, we have, we had long, we've had it from 21, it went all the way to the 56 or something area, then it pulled back really sharply, and then there was a take, a, a, a partial takeover or something like that, not a takeover, but um, part of the stock was committed, and all of a sudden, it drops really sharply, and now all of a sudden, look at it on a daily basis. This is a sim. We did get in twice and got stopped out for a small loss, but this is for those people that didn't get in on the initial position, the 21. Look at this action. You can't fight this. This is Symbotic Inc. end-to-end -end AI. Uh, had a horrible move down there, and now look at it. Gaps up today. It was up three, then it was up five, then it was only up two, and now it's up 8.72. I mean, there are some areas that are just refusing to go down. I'll be back in a moment. Bowser Chapter, Bowser up 11, to keep me on looking at the market. Do so. Let's do something. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So let's just look at uh, the uh, gold contract. It's up uh, $7 at 2007. If you look at the weekly chart, you see this big cup formation, and then it stalled at about a third of the way as it came back up. If you look at this monthly chart, it's really there's a sideways action. It's almost like a, an inverted head and shoulders potential, but it's not showing the kind of strength based on the MACD, which is a positive, not great, but positive. But that 9 over the 14 is still very strong, but it's not using that as a springboard yet. I think it will later. So I'm looking at gold and I'm saying, yeah, we are long, uh, we are long a position in the gold sector. But I'm also saying I think it's more um, a digestive phase that we're looking at in terms of the bigger move. And when I say digestive phase, I'm talking about the weekly chart that's taken quite some time since the April high at about 21.50 in the continuous contract all the way to just under 19.50. It's not a big deal, but it's big enough to say it's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of – it's going to take something to spark a kind of move that says it breaks out and starts to trade heavily into the 2200s. But at this point, I think it's starting to build up some kind of a base, and that's really important to me. If you're looking at silver, silver is actually uh, in some ways a better-looking chart. It's up to nicely today up 43 cents at 24.92 and I do think that there's a there's a very practical component to silver it's being used in EVs I don't know what the percentage is I really should do a little research on that but I, I like the action it's a little better than gold this is the continuous contract if you're looking at high grade copper high grade copper is nicely up today peak A peak B Peak A peak B peak C oh look at this so for those of you who are um, new to my work from the lowest low bar, you start to count the peaks. The idea is to, on the on the way up, you use uppercase. On the way down, you use lowercase. And if it goes from a buy signal to a buy mode, it should get to at least a D. But in this particular instance, look, peak A, peak B, and then it comes, pulls back, and it goes, you got to count each. This is your starting point. So every peak above that gets counted. As long as it doesn't take out the starting point low, well, lo and behold, look what happened. It goes to peak A, peak B, peak C, peak A, underneath the previous one, stalls at the 200-period moving average, goes slightly above to a leg B, then it goes fractionally higher to a C, and now it's in a leg D. 
So if you were looking at it and you weren't used to the Chapman wave notation, uh, the way I've, I've said that this is the way I counted, made a change to that uh, a long, long time ago, and that's the way I find that if I count every peak, I'm ahead of the game. I'm not waiting for a D when I'm actually at a, when I think I'm at a C, but in fact that C turns out to be a D. So I'm ready now for some kind of a pullback in high grade copper. Hasn't happened. Good action. And the weekly chart, I'm going to do this now purely on the edges of the of the wicks because that's where I go to the body of a candle. If it's important at this point, now the wick is important. Now the wick says uh, in the weekly chart, you've got to get above 4.012 in the crude oil, oh, sorry, in the copper continuous contract. And in the weekly chart, to really say I'm starting to break out. But the monthly chart says just stuck in a range. Good action in a sense. But it's, st it's stuck in a range. Now, I like to always put wood, which is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, which I show my subscribers every weekend when I do my about an hour long overview for what's happened and what's coming up. I anticipate for the week. And now we're looking at uh, the iShares Global Global Timber and Forestry ETF trading up 45, 76.30 in a leg E. Getting a little toppy, just visually, but all the technicals are still very good. The on-balance volume actually isn't oversold at all. In fact, it's, it's, uh, it isn't overbought. It's a little oversold. But the uh, weekly has managed to go to a leg D, all within a containment area. This is the pattern that we call the inverse, potential inverse Chapman wave uh, falling ass formation. So we're going to see what happens here. But so far, this is all good action, but it's stuck in a range. But I'm pleased to see that it has rallied very nicely from the 69 area to the 76. That's global timber and forestry ETF. So around the world, things are picking up. Some are now, I want you to go to crude oil. Look at this. Crude oil has just steadily gone. Uh, this is what I drew the other day in the, in the Chapman methodology. And I do intend to have an, a webinar for my subscribers. I want to show some of the techniques in greater detail. Um, and there are lots and lots of webinars, but I want to be very specific about the one coming up as soon as I decide when I'm going to do it. So the high of the uh, 12th of April, this is a continuous contract. So I don't like to type it in because it gets smoothed out and gets changed. 83.71 was the high. And now what we're looking at after a plummet, down to this um, low that was made at, in the 64s, it went sideways with the peak A, then a peak A, B, C, D. Uh, even though the stochastic and MACD, nothing was really confirming. It was just the price, and it pulls back, makes an arch formation, and then turns that into a beautiful cup formation. And we've been looking at crude oil walking the Chapman wave inside wedge target repellent line right here, or resistance line. Look at that. And it's still walking it, and it has a target over the next few days of trying to get to the seven, trying to get to that seven. I'm sorry, I say seven. It should be 83.71 area. So something in the 83s. Another two points. Two points is a lot, uh, but it, it could very well try to do that. And that says crude oil on a shorter term basis still stuck in the rectangle formation in the weekly chart has a lot of resistance coming up. How it deals with it is going to be very important. I think I've covered that now. I just want you to go back. Look at the QQQ. The weekly chart is in a leg D, uh, peak D, but it's walked the nine period moving average. It's got the channel wave inside wedge target repellent line. It went right to the exact resistance we're looking at in the left side, right side price time match. That's bar symmetry to that low of the four week of the 14th of October, 254.36. Now it's gone a little bit higher, but this whole area of the 360s, uh, I meant the 350s, is going to be the containment area when there is some kind of a pullback, which should happen fairly soon. However, 408.71 was the all-time high. And the most recent high was at 387.98. Uh, you know, we've been in a major bear market, and yet since October, the October low, where we went long, uh, the, the Dow, um, this is... This is really good action. We are only, and I blink away, in a 20 points, 21 points, 22 points. It can do that very quickly. I think it's going to take a little bit more time, but I do believe we've got new highs coming and all-time highs in the QQQs. But wait a minute. We're talking about new highs. The semi 
the semiconductor index, this is the semiconductor and market vectors, semiconductor ETF, all-time high as we speak, I believe. Yep, it's at 160.78. No, no, no. 160.92 was the high. Is it really close to all-time highs that it made just three days ago? 159 was the high back in, uh, in November of 2021. Plummets down to 85. I mean, it really gets cut in half. And now look at it. It's back to all-time. So that's why I've been saying I I can't look at this. I know that with um, Elliott Wave and all sorts of different techniques that people use are saying, oh, my God, this is going to be it. We are going to crash back swan and all that. It's more like a, like a, I don't know what they're looking at, but I don't see that kind of crash. I do see a digestive phase, but at all time highs of the semis, the crude oil of the 21st century. I'll be right back. Dow's up 31. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating Investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So I have some, uh, some, um, there we go, same tip. I have some uh, folks that have uh, asked me uh, for chart analysis, but I'm going to take preference right now on this particular one because uh, it's so important. It's right at, on the cusp of doing something, so I just need to do it. So I want to know about uh, Nokia. Oh, uh, Nokia. About, uh, this is Northrop Grumman. Now, I can't believe that I don't have this notated because I even remember distinctly doing it recently because I was looking at the spelling. Um, 
whether there were, I, I remember that there were two L's in uh, Grumman. And uh, let me just check here. Oh, I was thinking, are there two L ends in, but there isn't. So here we go. I, sorry, I was just distracted because I'm busy drawing my notation here. So the question is, should I stay or should I go? I have a 395 stop. So this is, it's funny, I didn't read the whole thing. I just saw the name and then I quickly went to the chart because I knew that uh, if I hadn't done it, I should quickly notate it, which I've just done daily, weekly. I haven't finished the weekly. Here's the monthly. You must always check up. Oh, you always have to check that you've got your lowest low bar for the start of a move because otherwise, yeah, that's the start of a move. So that's A, B, C, and then it fails. So this is a very interesting because this is in the, uh, the military, this is in the defense, it's in the, it's in actually a lot of different areas. You don't hear much about it, but it, it's a, an old company, it's been around forever. And uh, they had, in fact, done extremely well. Let me just finish this chart here. E, F, went to a peak F back in 2022. And, um, and then it had a pretty sharp plunge. I don't know what that was that week of the uh, December going to early January of 2022 to 2023. And it hasn't recovered. So North Route Grumman. Now, I, the fact that you've got the 395 stop I'm so pleased that you mentioned that because this is what I was going to tell you. Northrop has been, NOC is a symbol down 4.28 at 44, 445.40 down 428. So it's been in this arch formation within the long rectangle. I mean, talk about a long rectangle since January when it gapped down. The high the day before was in the 12th of January, the low was 45.79. Well, so let me just double check. Did I say that correct? Yeah, 40. Sorry, 485.89. The very next day, the high, because it gapped down, was 472.40. So you've got from 485 to 472, 13 points. <clears throat> and it's never filled the gap. It's gone into the gap, but it's never filled it. So this is what I'm looking at here. You see the way it keeps making the lowercase h to a lowercase m, and then the, the second time when it tests the uh, arch for formation left side, it goes fractionally under it, but then it goes quickly back. That just tells me that this is stuck in the rectangle, the long rectangle range. And if I do this right here, I'm going to do this and make it strong. So this is my halfway marker underneath the 200 period exponential moving average. Let me see. Yep, I'm pretty happy that that's about the halfway marker. I'm going to make it nice and thick. Did I actually put it in? Yes, I did. Make it nice and thick. Oh, wait, they are nice and thick. Uh, make it kind of a very standout color blue. Okay. And I better make it dashed because otherwise it has other implications for me. There it is. So that's your halfway point, and it keeps coming back. Remember the rule of thumb in a long rectangle formation, if you get to a D, E, or F above the resistance upper trend line range, that is the border, when you come back, if you take out the halfway point, you can go all the way back to or just on or just under the previous lows, like the cup formation. And lo and behold, the 27th of January had a low of 430.94, and almost six months, five months later, you're at 429.10. That just says now you've got to be careful because the, the, the midpoint of the rectangle was dashed line. And I forgot to even tell you what the price was at 450.50. Huh, that's going to be really strong resistance. And lo and behold, it went there many times over the last months, two months. And it kept getting uh, repelled. And now it's being repelled again. So I'm just forgetting for the moment that you have a stop in place of 395. What I was going to do without knowing, because I, I just saw NOC. <clears throat> and my thinking was, if this takes out the midpoint of this candle, which is 439, that's the candle of the 27th of July, there's a real good chance it's going to test the low and probably take it out. If it takes it out, 
then all of a sudden the whole 418 to 412 area becomes really important support. In fact, I'd say, first of all, the 422 to 418 area will become very important support. And all of that is way above your stop. So now let's just look at this in a completely different way and say, wait a minute, it's been in a huge digestive mode after that huge gap down. It hasn't failed, but it hasn't broken upside. So it's saying to you, it's just kind of a stuck stock. I would say a dead stock, but I'm not sure if that's what you want to use for Northwood Grumman. Now look at the weekly. Dreaded H goes to a lowercase m, goes under, holds it, and tries to rally, and now it's making a second, a third H pattern. And if you look at the monthly charts, it's making lower lows and lower highs. So I'm going to suggest to you, at this particular point, it's down four, it's at 4.45. I'm not sure where you got in. I would assess where you got in and what kind of risk you want, because what I would say to you is if you asked me the question and what I was going to say before I knew what your stop was of 395, I was going to say, I don't like this pattern at all. The pink nine period moving average in the weekly has shown no signs of strength. The MACD rallied and the price did a little bit. Now the MACD is almost about to fail. So the at 40, this is all the weekly chart. I would suggest taking a little bit off right now. In fact, from the way it's looking, because it's stuck in a range, I would consider whether it's just a third or a little bit more, but I would take something off right now. Why? Because it looks to me like you've got a fabulous trading pattern, and if you can see this back down into the 430, half length of cancer below that, let's go to, in the 436 to 432 area, that's where I would put that money back. And I say, hey, maybe now it has a run, even if it's only to the halfway marker, that's the midpoint of the rectangle, that would be great. But I don't like it as a, if you had to say to me, would I buy it, would I sell it right now? I'd probably say, I'd, I'd probably be on the side of selling it. Would I short it? I would short it if it closes below uh, 444. In fact, I would probably say, I would nibble on a short position right now. That's not your question. Your question is a stop of 395. My answer is I would take a little bit off and I'd actually look and let's talk, give, give me a yell again when we're looking at it. If it goes down further over the next week and a half, two weeks, if it gets down to the 430s, let's look at it again because then I'll say, hey, maybe you can have a trade and get, get that. The difference, the differential between where you're selling it now to where you would re enter for a bounce, that's just really nice to be building up a kitty on that kind of I'll be back in a moment, guys. It's happening. Back in just an hour. Thank you, guys. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. Uh, just let me uh, mention this before I go on to the stocks. I had a bunch of stocks that I want to look at. Um, Larry's doing his uh, webinar on Wednesday. I just, there's so little that we have to say. He does it all. He just, he, he, the way he chooses the points of, of inflection, the way he chooses to focus and wait for certain levels to be hit based on uh, both uh, his, you know, the Gartley, the A to B equals C to D, et cetera. It's just fabulous. And then he uses the percentages, you know, 618 and all that. He's looking at trend lines. He's looking at, he's looking at the horizontal line. Where does it come in? Where does the price meet? How does it extend? It's just fabulous. Every time I, I listen to his uh, workshop, um, the live workshops, it's just uh, I, I learn so much. I learn about stuff that, in a way, I might be doing. But he makes it so clear as to be able to do it using a certain structure. I like that very much. And I think that you'll really enjoy it, as always. And he, he almost always makes money, a lot of money for folks when they do the the, show, the, uh, the live workshop. So I'm just recommending, if you are interested in learning very detailed analysis and putting to work live, what he has analyzed and what he will show you how to trade and how to do it and where to go in and where to go out, I think it's really worth it. So give it a shot. Shopify. Shopify is trading at uh, 67.29, up a dollar 27. Made a peak D in the Chapman wave back on the around about the 15th or so of July. Pulls back to a trend line support. This is what we call the Chapman wave. Let me just do this right now live. Inside track propellant zone right there little mini channel it would break down if it was if it went under the, the red oops did i make that red i thought i did i didn't there it is um so i think this is like a magnet the idea of 65 is as rising support that's to me where i think the real test comes and it should come very soon but it's acting really well i like it so the question is what what's next where would i add what should i do and my answer is I know that you're long. The person who asked me, I know that you are long. I would remain long. Normally, I'd say because of it's had a move like this, I take a little bit off just in part of money management. And I'm going to say that again. Where would I best like to put it back to work? You're at 67. Hey, 10% 10, 10 lower in the 62 to 61 area. That's where I would. That's where I'd be looking to put that back again. But I would keep the core position because that monthly chart has really improved a lot, and it's walking the nine-period moving average, let alone the 14 in the weekly. But this is, to me, this is shows signs of a kind of an arching over. In fact, let me draw it in what I'd be looking at to see if it is able to formulate. And at this particular moment. Um, that's the way I'm looking at it. So it should come back a little bit, but it doesn't have to come back much. I think a lot of people wanted to buy what took off from October and is now starting to, I wouldn't say stall, because this one, yes, on the on the daily chart, looks like it's stalled, but that weekly chart, it's just making slightly high highs. 
and higher lows. So that's, so far, that's good. But I would definitely take a little bit off. Next question was a CrowdStrike CRWD, something I followed, a stock that I followed for years. CrowdStrike holding cybersecurity. Um, this is in the cybersecurity area. And there are times where I hear people say, this is the place to be. This is the stock. And there are other times where it just seems to me that the stock doesn't know they're saying that because it really struggles. It was a stock that was once at 298 uh, back in November of 2021, had a little bit of a dip under 100 to 92.25, and now it's had a fabulous run to 161. I like it very much. A, B, and here again, this is what I'm saying. So many stocks I'm looking at are going to peak, Ds or Es, that I have to be on a just purely, on a purely technical basis on the notation in the Chapman Wave methodology, plus these cup formations where we kind of double topping here. You can break out from a from a, a double top, but at this point you've got to say first you've got to break from the double top. And right here it's kind of stuck in this range. So here again I'd say take a little bit off. Where's the ideal place to start thinking about putting it back? It's at one uh, one sixty point fifty seven right now, sixty seven. I would say between 150, 152 and 149. That's where I'd like to look at it. And then I might say, oh, that's a little bit too much. But right now, that's kind of the area that I'd be looking at. Next question came in about ZS, Zootus. Zootus. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, no, that's not Zootus. That's Z scale. Okay, Z scale. I do follow it. You can see I've got my notation here alternate count EFG. It went to EFG right there. E. F, G, and I usually say G slash C because if the technicals are still strong, well, it did pull back sharply, and now it's gone to a higher high. I'm going to call this a D for now, D slash A. And the reason why I'm calling it a D is because it's got the cup formation. It's got a cup and handle formation, not one of my favorite patterns. Fabulous stock. It's done. Look at the way it treated the 200-period moving average as a, a kickoff point. But this pullback in the cup and handle was a little too deep. Peak A, peak B in the weekly chart is doing very nicely. In this particular instance, <clears throat> if you are in it, I probably would say to you, I would. Just, I don't know about taking anything off. I think it's acting quite well at this particular point. But the monthly chart needs a lot of work. But I am going to say to you, Normally, I'd say take a little bit off and you can start to put it back and I'd go to the low range and that would be under 150. It's 159 right now. Um, and give it another day or two. Let's look at it. I'm not going to say take anything off. I think there's still some residual strength here. We're going to be watching it a little closer to see whether or not it's maybe able to break above. And it's really can't just break above 155, 163.14, which was the high on the 19th. It actually has to go all the way to about 165, 166, and hold there for a couple of days. That'll be really good action. So let's just watch that one carefully. Question about natural gas, natural gas, continuous contract, monthly chart, unbelievably horrible. Uh, back in the peak D, that was in 2022, in the uh, high 11s, it comes all the way back down. Continuous contract goes down to, was that the low? That wasn't the, yeah, there was. That was a 2.20-ish. So what do we get? We got 2.22 on the continuous contract, goes to peak D, pulls back, and now it's kind of stuck. I just don't see it, but I do see the way it's building in the uh, weekly chart. I do see that given about six weeks it takes you into September, I think that's where if, if natural gas hasn't broken below 2.30, closed below 2.30, between now and... Uh, August the about the August sixteenth, right, Mid, midway into August, but in fact has climbed to a higher high above this high of the twentieth of July, two point seven eight three. I think that is starting a move that could be bigger, but I would just say you got it's been, it's just been the doldrums for so long, and every opportunity it had to spike higher and hold. Uh, this is a really good move from um, beginning of two, 2.90s. But look, it's, it's really struggling. So I'd say keep an eye on it. 
but you and G have a very depressive. Yeah, you and G did the one to one to the downside. It's just kind of stuck. I will be looking at it. I'll look at it every couple of days. Meet down, dials up. Uh, TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Hi folks, as we as we expect i am expecting some kind of a rollover with sudden spikes to the upside and then starting to make lower lows uh, aqst is a question came in a question of therapeutic sync in the biotech area Sharp legs C today. <coughs> it looks like it wants to make a cup formation. And over the next few days, it's going to attempt to get to the high of the uh, 13th of June, which is at 234. It's trading at 209 right now. It's a long way to go, actually, another 30 cents. But it has made a peak D in the weekly chart. Pulls back to the 9, even with a severe decline. The 9 is still over the 14. That says to me there's still internal strength. It's acting very well. Key support will be between 2, no, between 198 and 176. That's the way I'm looking at it. Um, XPEV, was that what it was? XPEV. Uh, there it is. This is in the designs, expand Inc. Designs, develops, manufactures smart EVs. We spoke about it recently. I said, I'd be afraid to do anything to say anything other than this strength right here. Uh, it is on a leg. I think it was going to that leg F with an inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle. If it closes halfway above that candle, it could go to a higher high. Well, it's done that. Now it's pulling back. 
I think it's getting a little choppy. I'm looking at a lot of the EV sector. I'll do that more tomorrow. But I think it's done fantastically. So this is one of those cases where I say you really do money money management wise, take a little bit off and just wherever you're in, just control the stop on that. But it looks really, it's really improving in the weekly and the monthly. So with that said, let me just say that by the end of the day, after two o'clock, I said to subscribe to my opening call. If the Dow starts to give back gains and actually turns uh, either negative or is only like up 15 or so after two o'clock, there's a chance that some selling comes in by the end of the day. But we are looking at this as a process. The nine is still very strong in all the key indices. Nine over the 14. Keep it in mind. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned for Steve Rhodes. I'll be back tomorrow.